Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Gustrov here. I'm playing once again in the Vintage Untap Open League, this time I'm in top 4. And this is my deck, I did say Vintage, you heard that correctly. Uh, and I did say top 4, you heard that correctly. This is a modern deck, this is Dredge, this is Hogak Dredge. It, it's called Dredge, no actual Dredge cards in it, but it's Hogak Vine, I guess. Good old Venge Vine. It's Simon Nielsen's GP winning list for Las Vegas. and. It has no restricted cards, <laughs> but it does have this bad boy. Uh, and my opponent is playing a real deck, uh, a real vintage deck. This is Survival. Shoutouts to, I guess it's EPT Hopper or EP Thopper. <laughs> I don't actually know which. Uh, but this is, this is uh, Survival. So it's going to be running four of this, Survival of the Fittest along with four Bizarre Baghdad, and it's going to abuse these two with Basking Rutwala, which, why is this a card in Vintage? Well, because of the other two. Uh, with, let's see, where is Hollow One? Uh, and with Vengevine, and Wonder, and such. And it's going to be running all of these things to try to, as quickly as possible, throw out a lot of creatures that are difficult to impossible to counter, which, hey, that sounds pretty familiar. That sounds like something that I might be trying to do. But of course the opponent is doing it with a broken enchantment for two mana, and I'm doing it with a broken creature for zero mana. Well, the kind of two. Alright, and so this is what we have. Uh, my opponent has not said, well, it's my, it's my choice actually. Uh, I accidentally revealed a little bit of information before him, but I'm hoping, Hopper, you didn't notice. Uh, so we're going to say keep, because this is an extremely solid hand. This is beyond solid. Shoutouts to, by the way, Vanilla Almond Tea. Because, you know, when you think tea, you think a container like this. But it's cold here. <laughs> it's really cold where I am. Alright. I see it. So we're going to go. Uh, well, since I already revealed <laughs> Bloodstained Mire earlier, let's... Tap it, hello. Hello? There we go. Blip, blip, blip. Might as well do that now, so that I do not forget, because knowing me, I will. Uh, does the life total matter in this matchup? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, so for right now, it might be best for me to go and just get a basic swamp, because this is actually a matchup where Vengevine Beats could actually do it. I do have to be a little bit careful here. I don't think... There's a there's a very low risk I get rid of both of my Overgrown Tombs. It's a very low risk. So bring that back up. And, by the way, Stitcher Supplier. So looking at the opponent's layers, Mental Mist, I was about to do it. I was about to do it. Now I was about to say, uh, my opponent does have the single copy of Mental Mist. It's barely a blue deck, but it is a blue deck. It has Lavinia, it has Leovold, it has Phantasmal Image, it has Double Deathrite Shaman. Oh man. Oh man. And then let's draw. Let's see what we can get. That's a problem, folks. That's a problem. Uh, poor Hogak. So in this case, <laughs> poor Hogak, what am I saying? In this case, am I just supposed to build as big a field as possible? Much better hand than last time I played against you. I believe it. Yeah, Deathrite Shaman gets to be a, a three of. Oh, it's only a three of. Eight hey, still. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a thing, folks. That's a thing. So we're going to go get a land. This time we are we are actually just going to. Make a deep di oh geez. Okay, so going and getting, let's see, Overgrown Tomb. I think for this turn, I'm just going to try to uh, get you out. It's not great with Deathrite Shaman out, but I can kind of overwhelm Deathrite. So the way that this is worded, reveal the top four, put a land in my hand, and the rest go in the yard. So we're not going to be able to keep a, uh, oh, this one. No, 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 we were right. Look at top number cards. We're not going to be able to keep a Hogak if we find one. That's just not going to happen. Shriekhorn, Carrion Feeder, Assassin's Trophy, Vengevine. So this is a whiff. 
This is a whiff and a half. Which is not the worst thing that could happen, to be fair. The opponent still hasn't found survival or bizarre yet, apparently. Or maybe they have and they just went with the death right play. And then we will not do that, we will pass. Okay. So the opponent can eat Vengevine, and lo and behold, they will. Uh, once again, the hand looks pretty clear. This is, this looks... This looks okay. I can live with this. I might actually end up, at some point, having to play... So next turn, carry and feed or Gravecrawler, and try to force the opponent to, uh, to block with these Deathrite Shamans. Um, maybe. It's, a, it's potentially a thing. Just to try to get them off the table. Because the longer they stay, the worse it gets for me. I can play without a graveyard, but I would rather play with my graveyard. If at all possible. This looks like survival. Ooh. I mean, they both make green, so they could just be doing it now. Nope. It's survival. Yeah, um, so since they have... They actually have mana and, uh, or mana generation and the ability to either eat a creature or to use survival of the fittest, either one. So they don't have to, they don't have to do it right now. And meanwhile, this hand looks like it could be okay. They know that there's a Venge Vine in the yard, so if they... Still thinking, yep, yeah, fair enough, take your time. Take your time. Oh, take you our time. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, if they don't save that for Vengevine, Vengevine's coming down next turn. Vengevine only counts if the spells are cast. Not that there are any other counter spells left in the deck. I agree. Oh, you're doing it now? Okay. It's a mana ability, so I can't respond anyway, but... No, no, it's not! No, 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 no! Deathrite Shamans is not a mana ability. Um, but they haven't targeted something yet. The quest did you move Bloodstained? There it goes. Fair enough. And this is for Vengevine, I would be almost certain. What? Oh, okay, okay. A more green. Oh, we're discarding two. Double Vengevine. No, no, Vengevine. Vengevine, search up... Um, Vengevine. And then discard that. Are we going to have a, a war with our Vengevines here in just a bit? Because that sounds hilarious. Okay. Please cast a... Rootwalla. Okay, so one Rootwalla. It's been cast. Hollow one. Interesting. Wait a minute. Oh, oh crap, crap, crap. Not what I meant to do. What, what happened? What happened? Wait. Okay. So, if I understand this correctly, they went... Survival of the Fittest. Discarded... Vengevine. Vengevine. Okay, I, I must be missing something. So, they used Survival twice, discarded two Venge Vines. They played a Basking Root Walla. Was this what they added to hand? Oh, no, 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 no! They exiled Simi Elvish Spirit Guy to have the mana to discard... Okay, let me just look through here, because I, I, I think I see it now. To have the mana to discard Root Walla to get Hollow One. I'm checking to make sure. Vengevine, okay, so they got Elder Spirit Guide, moved from Play to Exile, moved it from hand to discard. Okay, so yeah, that, that's exactly what happened. Moved Hollow One from deck to play. Okay. I see it now. Thank you. Alright, we got there. Uh, and I think that we just want to chomp here. Because neither of these can block, and you're not going to be able to do much on your own. Alright. 
pass it on over, please. Yeah, double death right. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, bl collective brutality, right on time. Jeez, jeez, right on time. Nothing in the yard except for the vengevine does very much right now. Uh, you know, I could, just to get a, an extra counter on the carrion feeder. Um, so let's see. We could go verdict catacombs, get the other basic swamp, and then with two swamps, and we still have red mana available to us potentially. Um, we can go carrion, grave crawler, get back vengevine, sack, grave crawler. That seems like it's okay. I don't have any blood gas, but what can you do? The, the Collective Brutality does not kill anything that I, I need dead. It can kill a Deathrite Shaman, but that's not as important, because if I, if I don't get Vengevine out now, it's not coming down. So we're going to do this. Fetch, go to 11, find the other basic swamp, be a little OCD, <laughs> hey, Fair enough, right? What can you do? Alright. So, cast you. And everything here should resolve. The, the mental misstep is done, so it should resolve. Alright, that's good. Trigger. I, I assume they know it's the Vengevine trigger. Yep, okay. Because they play Vengevine too, so they know how that card works. They know how that card works. Uh, sack and recast Gravecrawler. Alright. So there we go. This is not exactly the, the strongest team you've ever seen, but uh, I guess it gets the job somewhere. And then we pass. Uh, we might be able to... So Collective Brutality, next turn. Kill a Deathrite Shaman. Drain. That... Uh, I don't even know that it's worth going after what's in their hand. Uh, especially since they're probably not going to have it after this turn. Uh, this is a creature full deck. <laughs> so I guess we just do Collective Brutality Escalate once next turn. It's all good. So, given where they went with that, I actually really like the play. They didn't have to play as conservatively as I had been anticipating, which was hold up the ability to eat two creatures. Uh, EPT Hopper found out from last time that if you just wait and wait and wait, Hogak can come down because the delve happens before you have a chance to eat the card. So yeah, that's a thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Collector Ufi, which does literally nothing except serve as a bear in my, against my deck. Oh, it's Shriekhorn. Alter. So it hits two cards. Okay. Uh, okay. And then they discarded Vengevine. And went and got... They are looking. So it, it looks a little bit weird. They're putting the card into play, but that's just EPD Hopper's way of revealing what the card is. Alright, so there's another Vengevine. We're going for all of the Vengevines here. Uh, eating Verdant Catacombs. So let's scooch that over here. And you may... You may... Oh, you don't have any. So lands are done. <laughs> nope, oh, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so there's one. Uh, okay, Nani. Oh, okay. That that's another survival, another instance of using survival. Shoot. Oh no. Oh no. Fail to find. Uh, I mean, they can get something. <laughs> no, but... What I meant to say is fail to find the one you meant. I miscounted. Oh! No, uh, no double... cast. Eh. 
No vine triggers. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I think I get it now. I get it now. Um, well, this is still okay. This still <laughs> looks all right. For what it's worth. Oh yeah, you know what? I forgot to mention on Discord that uh, this game is going. This game is happening. Alright. It's probably more important to get rid of the Hollow One than the Venge Vines, because the Hollow One can't come back under normal circumstances. The Venge Vines can. So that looks like what we're going to have to do. Uh, unfortunately, these two have a cannot block clause. So, what can you do? But I, I kind of have to have to stop that. Yep, and there we go. So this is going to go to game two. Of course, it kind of always goes to game two. That is how that works. Uh, you know what? Can we... No, we can't live this. I'm not even going to reveal the brutality. Reveal the brutality. <laughs> game two. All right. Hopper. Okay, cool. Scoop cards, start a new game. Alright. Shuffled me automatically. Um. Shouldn't be going to sideboards. Uh, yeah, you, you already know that. You already know that. I am a little bit worried, though, because, uh... It doesn't take this long to just draw your cards. That that does make me make me worried a little bit that they're going to sideboards. What are you doing, Hopper? What are you doing? Oh jeez, look at this hand. Look at this hand. Well, Faithless Looting makes this an auto keep. But uh that's a that's double hogak. I'm actually gonna check. Make sure, because it should not be taking this long. Uh-oh, moved cards from sideboard and deck to... I, I just, I knew it, I knew it! <laughs> I knew it, I reminded you, I reminded you. Let me, let me, let me, let me see. I said game one and two are main board games for top four, so in before we go to game three, one, one. I said that! <laughs> oops, oops. Hey, it's okay. Maybe you're more tired than I am, Hopper. It's fine, it's fine. It's not like it happened on camera. God. No, as many mistakes as I've made on camera, I have no room to, to chat. Alright, there we go. Uh, well, wait a minute. Okay, fine. You get to say keep first. <laughs> this is a great game, folks. This is a great game. Blip, blip, blip. There's only one land that can get this, so I don't mind revealing it to my opponent first. I can only cast it off of Blood Crypt. I don't have Stomping Ground in this list. Alright, cool! So, that re that resolves. So we're going to... Draw. One. Two. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, okay, so since this is a main board game, and I don't have to worry about these ravenous traps down here, or the Scavenging Ooze, or the Yixla Jailer. Since I don't have to worry about those, I think it's safe to just dump double Vengevine. Uh, now, if I put Bloodgast in the yard... Let's see, how many cards am I going to have in the yard after this? I, I should, I'll put Thinking. Well, actually, there's a, there's a macro for that right here. Cool. Um, I'm going to have one, two, three, four. But I can't use these for delving for uh, for Hogak. That kind of defeats the point a little bit. So, uh, hmm. Next turn we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. But two of those will be Vengevine. So I could get Hogak. But that seems wrong. That seems wrong to to miss out on the Vengevines for the purpose of getting out an early Hogak. It's not like they have anything they can do about Hogak once it's down, but I still don't think it's right. I think I'm supposed to wait. So we're gonna dump double Vengevine. 
and then we'll pass the turn. This, this looks like an okay game. I'm sort of at a... I have so many cards, so many good cards to... Oh, there's Bizarre. Okay. How many hollow ones are you getting free? My money's on one. One hollow one. Of course, now that I've said that... Just dump triple Vengevine, double Hogak. Let's go. Uh-oh. Veil of Summer, and then a Basking Root Walla. Okay, so, yep, there's Hollow One, and then the free Vengevine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Well, okay, we need to find a Grave Crawler next turn. What the heck? That's so many cards. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you bring a modern deck to a vintage league. Now, granted, I beat this the first time. I did beat this the first time. Okay, we did not get there. Did not get there, folks. Uh, now we have a problem. We actually have to use this ho this uh, Hogak here. So, hear me out. This may sound crazy. No, 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 we can't. We don't have another creature we can get down this turn because I didn't put the Bloodgast in the yard. Uh, but if I had put the Bloodgast in the yard, we'd actually still be at a bit of a, a spot. Yeah, I probably misplayed this. So it's supposed to be this turn, carry and feeder, play the land, blood gas, sack blood gas, play, fetch with the land, get blood gas, tap both, and then get Hogak. That's probably what I was supposed to do. And I still wouldn't get any Venge Finds out of it, but I just did that incorrectly. I just messed up. Yeah. Yeah, now to be fair, in my defense, it's not every day that they make a start like this. But now, I have to put a creature down, and that creature has to be Hogak, but I can't do Hogak. Um, so let's see. Verdant Catacombs can get a forest. There is a Dryad Arbor in the list. One, Carry and Feeder, two. So we'll have five, yep, so we'll, that's what we'll have to do. We'll have to go Verdant Catacombs, tap, sack, go and get Dryad Arbor. So we're not dead, this just really is not the place I would like to be. It's really not where I would like to be. And make sure that's five, yep, that's five. And Hogak says five! <laughs> One, two, can I just move the whole thing? Can I just exile the whole thing, expel? Spell the Amis. There we go. For Hogak. This is my one saving grace. And even then, spoiler alert, I'm going to lose this game. I messed up. I messed up so badly. I had to get rid of double Vengevine. That's, uh, that's not good, folks. Technically speaking, that's not good. Uh, so obviously Hogak can block this turn. Dry Arbor can block next turn. You're legendary, so even if somehow I... I pulled out a miracle. I couldn't get a, a second of you. Uh, yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done, folks. Swing with the team. Block a hollow one. As you do. I guess a, a tiny saving grace is I don't have anything in the yard for them to eat with. Oh, hello. Uh, they don't, for them to eat with Deathrite Shaman. And they don't have... They have Veil of Summer, actually. Never mind. So they actually do have something to, to eat there. So I'm going to go down to 3 Virtual 1. Hello? There we go. Yeah, I'm at a Virtual 1 here, folks. Alright. I'm not quite dead yet. There's another Carrion Feeder. That's not exactly what I needed to see. Yeah, there's, there's a... I can't... I can play the land, it just won't do me any good. Hmm. Hmm. Can't fetch here, is what I'm trying to say. It's not a way to get you in the yard right now. I mean, yeah, I don't even have black black. Hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking hard. 
there a way I can get out of this? You can't block, you can't block, I can't play you. Uh, you know, I'm dead even if I did the the Bloodgast instead, actually, because I don't have enough time to get to actually hard cast the other Vengevine anyway. I think I, I think I lose this. Well, this is going to take a, a, an uphill battle. Yeah. Uh, the opponent already has my deck list. There's not much of a reason to not play it out. I guess we'll play the land. I want to fetch just to test them, just to say, hey, can you do this? Can you do this? Uh, you know what? We're gonna be cute. No, no, we're not. I was about to say we're gonna be cute. We're gonna attack with Carrion Feeder and then see if they can block <laughs> block Death Ray Shaman second. No, no, that's really cute. That's that's not actually a thing. I promise you. Uh, I guess we pass. No, 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 no. We'll we'll cast another Carrion Feeder and then then we'll pass. EOT. Eat your Veil of Summer? Yep, okay. They had plenty of time to see that. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh no. I mean, you have Bizarre. You might as well. Uh, I saw Wonder- Oh, <laughs> oh they don't have an island! They don't have an island! Okay, okay. They have an island! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Game three. Game three. Oh, yep, there we go. Hey, there we go. Alright, so now we really have to claw our way into this. Uh, let's take out the cards that don't do nearly enough. Uh, Ultra is is cute here, but in a format with this much graveyard hate, or in a, in a deck with this much graveyard hate, there's six graveyard cards I need to worry about here. Scavenging Ooze, Yixla Jailer, and then the four copies of Ravenous Trap. No Graph Digger's Cages, uh, but Yixla Jailer is kind of like a Graph Digger's Cage. <laughs> it's a better Graph Digger's Cage because I can't kill it with Force of Vigor, which is absolutely coming in. Uh, speaking of which, let's just do that now. I I'm a little wary about putting in too many copies of Leyline of the Void because the deck can very much play without them, uh, without use of the graveyard. Uh, the way that Madness works, the card is exiled and then can be cast from exile, so it doesn't actually stop Madness with Root Wallop, but it will stop Vengevine, it will stop Wonder, stuff like that. Uh, I I'm just going to go with the one Leyline of the Void. I think it's folly to put in too many. Nature's Claim actually deals not just with uh, with uh, Survival of the Fittest, but also Hollow One. Uh, so I think it's okay to bring in Nature's Claim. It's not particularly great. Thoughtseize is really bad here. Fatal Push is really bad here. Brutality is not enough. So we're going to take out Shriekhorn. We're basically going to take out stuff that fills the graveyard. Uh, because we know that they're bringing in Graveyard Hate, so we're going to try to pivot to being a more of a mid-range deck that just happens to use the Graveyard. Uh, and as such, we take out such cards. Sometimes, like, so Glow Spore Shaman is a 3-1, and that actually blocks a Vengevine. So that, that gets to say, Fatal Push, again, really, really bad, so you're coming out. And while we're at it, let's just cut... Uh, Crypt Breaker is way too slow for this, so we're going to take out Crypt Breaker. Uh, let me scroll up, there we go. Collective Brutality. And then we get to this dilemma again. Which of these, is it Gravecrawler or is it Carrion Feeder that I'm supposed to side out? Because I, I believe I'm supposed to keep in Glow Spore. It deals with Vengevine, even if but for a turn, while fueling the yard. Um, ah, you know, so, so Gravecrawler is a 2-1. That means that I can attack into Deathrite to try to force their hand a little bit. Uh, Carrion Feeder is the more redundant effect. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I have enough zombies. I think I might want to take out one Carrion Feeder. 
On the other hand, if I'm pivoting to a mid-range deck, Carrion Feeder is the biggest card, but it can't block and it doesn't have Trample, so it can't serve the same way that Hogak can, where it can just sit back as a wall that the opponent can't penetrate. So I think I'm going to take out a Carrion Feeder, and I could very well be wrong. That might be exactly the wrong thing to do, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's right, if that's okay. Alright. And looking through this again, I think that we're okay. So again, the final tally is we brought in six cards. One Graveyard Hate card, because the graveyards... Eh, it's okay, but not strictly necessary. And then a lot of removal for artifacts and enchantments. This honestly might even be a little bit too much. Uh, but, Survival is a card that's very difficult for us to beat, so I think it makes sense to do this. It also, I can just use Force of Vigor to take out Moxen, just worst case scenario. If I need to, I can take out Moxen. And I think that that's okay. One of the joys of playing Force of Vigor is even when... Th there's never a time, it seems, when it can't two for two the opponent. Because they'll have Moxen at the very least, and the opponent has a big enchantment I need to hit, some big artifact creatures, and Moxen. It works, it works. So I get to decide, and I see three lands, one of which is Dryad Arbor, so uh, that's, that's not great. Fetch land, Overgrown Tomb. Uh, so I get to go turn one Grave Crawler, turn two Seder Wayfinder. You know what this hand doesn't have? It doesn't have any hate, actually. That might be alright, because the opponent has watered their down deck. Their deck down deck. Their deck down. Um, I don't have a discard outlet either for these Blood Ghast, so that, that could actually be a little bit unfortunate. That could be interesting. I think it's alright, though. Well, oddly enough, I think that this might be okay. Uh, this feels like it, I need to shove it. Like, the, the lands are a little iffy just on their own, frankly. The lands are just iffy as it is. But, I'm gonna keep. I'm going to keep. Alright, here goes nothing. Alright, hit me. Mental misstep. There's no way mental misstep is still in the deck. There is exactly zero chance that mental misstep is still in the deck. You don't bring in counter mag or keep counter magic in against a graveyard recursion deck. Oh crap, yeah, I forgot to hit that. Yep. the clouds to die this evening. Both have our head in the clouds. You know, that is another thing. This is a shock land. In vintage. Shock lands in vintage. All shocks matter. Okay, so we, we have it down on turn one, so I'm about to get punished hard for that. Unless I can top deck something, that'd be nice. <gasps> what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I want to so badly. Now, however, however, I have to wait until my opponent's turn, which will give them the chance to use, to activate it once. As such, I think it might be alright just to wait. We're gonna wait till the end of the opponent's turn. To do that, though, we have to keep a green card. Fortunately, you see that little green dot on the left side of Dryad Arbor? That signifies it's a green card. So, as, I'm sorry, Dryad Arbor. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> I never doubted you for a moment. <laughs> Jeez. What is this game? <laughs> what is this game? Let's go to 15. Find a card. I love this game. So much. Why am I doing this main phase one? Why on earth am I doing this in main phase one? <laughs> I'm just really not myself right now. So look at the top four cards. Well, there's only one land, so, uh, there's the land. Let's put the rest of these, including double Vengevine. Jeez. Okay. 
and then that goes to hand, and we'll just have it revealed. Cool! That'll work. Uh, yeah, and the way that works, just put it in your hand, that's easy enough, and go to combat, hit for two, yada yada. You can't block anyway, so why not? I've got a feeling this is gonna hurt. Okay, and then we'll pass turn. Please, please, please. Just, just, just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! UT. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I don't have to. Let's see. Let's, uh. Expelliarmus. Ooh, how about just expel the whole thing? There we go. There we go. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I did see that one coming. I did see that one coming. Let's give the opponent a turn to activate survival. One lowly turn. That's a draw. What is it? You got a hollow one? Oh, no, wait. Do you have a bazaar? <gasps> Lotus. That is a lot of mana for this. Thinking. Okay, that's a better way to do it. Uh, you know what? I can respond. I can respond with uh, force on the survival so that they don't have a lot of mana here. Uh, the fact that I just gave that away, I, I did kind of just give away I have force in hand. Uh, hmm. To Lotus. Yeah, so, uh, if I just give them Lotus, I, I probably only have to deal with a card, a single card. If I let this Lotus resolve, that's a lot of green mana that they can start dumping into survival, and into, uh, yeah, survival. And depending on what's in their hand, they could go, uh, discard for Vengevine, discard for Vengevine, root wall a hollow one. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna force that. Oh, oh crap, no, no, that's not where that goes. That's not where that goes. That goes here. Boop! <laughs> Alright, see what you got. What you gonna do? Yeah, this is with Lotus on the stack, so I can't target Lotus. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, please respond. Please respond. Yeah, that's fine. Watch you have another one. Watch you have another one. Yeah, with Black Lotus, in against this deck, I'm expecting to have to deal with, like, a creature that comes out of Black Lotus. I'm not expecting to deal with a bunch. Oh, is this a wonder? Are you gonna just hard cast wonder? Ancestral Recall, okay. No response. <laughs> yep, yeah, it does run that. It does, in fact, run that. And they haven't hit their land drop yet. There it goes. Okay, so that's fine. I can live with that more than Bizarre. It seems like I'm doing this a lot. My shoulders are creaky. <laughs> Being in the wrong position for a bit. Alright, Savannah with Blue Blue floating. Lavinia. Ooh, okay. No response. No Hogak. No Hogak. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. So no Hogak right now. She's pretty dece. Pretty dece. Just the one of, as you do. Ooh! Ooh! This is spicy! This? Oh, oh hello. Okay, you know what? We're fine. We got there eventually. Eventually. Draw. Doodle. Alright, so we'll play the land that they know about. Uh, yeah, there's, there, that's the only card in the yard. So I guess we're going to go to combat. Hit for two. I mean, it can't block anyway, so I might as well attack. Alright, they took it. Main phase two. Sometimes this... <laughs> this UI, it's not the UI. Uh... Do this. 
play you. And then pass. Alright. If I can top deck a land, this Vengevine can come down. Uh, well, that land actually has to make green, so it's it's still not the greatest thing ever. Ooh, there's Bizarre. Now, it's important to note that Containment Priest has a symmetrical effect. Lavinia does not. Lavinia only cares about the opponent's stuff. This means that the opponent is not going to be able to get their Venge Vines back themselves. Uh, and I don't see any Venge Vines yet. It'll happen, though. Uh, wait. Wait. Exile. 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 <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, no, no. Did they cast it? No, 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 no. No, you didn't cast that. Uh, let me make sure. Would enter the battle... Oh, and it wasn't cast! Ah. Not cast from hand. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I was just reading this card. I was just... For whatever reason, I don't know, I, I guess I just... I've seen it done that way so many times, I saw it as cast from hand. Alright, so we really need a green land coming up. I don't think there's a great deal of a purpose in blocking here, except that if I... Uh, okay. Do I... I think I need to save the satyr here to block Rootwalla next turn. I think that that's right. And you can't block. You just straight up can't block. Cowards can't block now. Okay. So, I can't cast Hogak. Unfortunately. I cannot cast Hogak. <laughs> I... <laughs> if no mana was spent to cast it, you can't spend mana to cast the spell. Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, I, I can't feel too bad about this. I'm playing a modern deck in Vintage. I can't feel too bad about this. I'm playing the wrong format, after all. Uh, so yeah, there's not much of a reason not to attack with these two. So we'll, we'll go to combat. Oh! Alright. Death Rite to Gravecrawler seems like a fair idea. Actually, both of these get hurt by uh, Containment Priest existence. Ooh, okay, there's one. And then... What's this? Oh, Pump? Oh, pump. Oh. Do they have a, a spirit guide? Yep, that's it. Okay, okay. Wait. No, 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 no. They had one, and then they tapped to exile a land. Yeah, I just missed it. I just missed it. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. I just wait. What happened? Just block them. Okay, okay, okay. I just cast Death Right. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> it happens. Alright. Uh. No effects. Okay. You got me. You got me. Let's play you. And then hope somehow, somehow, that I can get there. Alright, Hogak, I'm gonna need you to turn into a land right now. Yeah, the cannot block clause on a lot of my creatures is getting really annoying now. Really annoying. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Even though this is virtually dead. Because I might be able to get another creature with at least one power to chump block or to double block one of these to get it out of the way. That's the goal. That's the plan. 
Well, I guess we take it, but dang, I'm gonna have to go to four just to get a Venge Find down. And then, let's look at the opponents here. They have Ancestral Recall, Ravenous Trap. But they don't have black mana. That's interesting. And they can't make mana and tap at the same in the same turn. So we are actually going to have to put ourselves in lethal range to get there. Because remember, no basic... Well, you know what? I could get Dryad Arbor. If I don't mind waiting a turn, I can get Dryad Arbor. So, Dryad Arbor... I can't really wait, though. But if I get Dryad Arbor, then instead of getting Vengevine this turn, I'm going to chump to get rid of one of these. Uh, yeah, I think we just have to hope that they don't find black mana. Of course, now that I've said that... And they have already used up Black Lotus. Ooh, excuse me. So, we're going to go and get Overgrown Tomb. Take a miracle. OCD. <laughs> I'm not actually OCD. Like, very mildly. No one cares. Um, oh. Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay. Combat. You guys can't attack anyway. Or can't block anyway. I'm sorry whoever's spectating this. I'm sorry all of you. This is a... We don't have a spectator anymore. No! We just have you all. <laughs> Alright, so... They have not... Uh, de oh yeah, yeah. We got there. Main two. Boop! Alright. Whale... Obviously, I, I could have attacked with Avenge Vine, but I don't feel like dying. So, uh, if I had if I had done that, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> In a turn, tap for some mana burn. No. Yeah, I think there's a case. Maybe I should have. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. So, I think that the answer is here, here, and hope that they don't have black mana. Do you have black mana? Like, black mana and death right. I can't see what that is. Yep. Got me. <laughs> Good games. Hey. This was a fun run. Uncastable Hogak Rip. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Well, Happy New Year! To give you an idea for when this video is actually being recorded versus when it's going up. Happy New Year! <laughs> uh -huh. You're in good company. <laughs> it went 4-0 after all. Well, kind of. It kind of went 4-0. <laughs> And the joy about having something like that is that it, you don't have to take my word for it. It's on video. <laughs> it's on video doing it. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, looking back at it, maybe Collective Brutality would have made some sense. I mean, you saw what that board looked like. <laughs> you, you know, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Alright, that'll do it. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.